people who have diabetes can exercise safely but always check with your doctor before you start strength training is a great option for people with diabetes and should be done twice a week Along with this you can also include some cardio exercises like jogging swimming or biking for half an hour every day always remember to stretch afterwards and reach out to a coach or trainer for better techniques and discipline getting started with a strength training routine before getting to the actual strength training exercises here are some ground rules you should know For each exercise begin with one set of 18 repetitions where you repeat the moves 8 to 12 times. Take rest for 30 seconds before you start the next one. Use light dumbbells resistant bands to help focus on smooth controlled weight lifting and lowering. Switch to heavier weights once you have gotten used to the light ones. So now that you're all prepped for your strength training routine here are 10 exercises you can do at home to work on your essential muscles upper body standing biceps curl keeping your hands straight down palms facing your thighs take your starting position standing holding a dumbbell in each hand squeezing your biceps lift the dumbbells going up rotate your forearms till your palms are facing backwards on each side of your face slowly bring the weights to the starting position don't depend on momentum when you bring them down the movement must be controlled right through upper body triceps extension stand one foot a tad in front of the other one and hold one dumbbell with both hands gripping the handle lift the dumbbell slowly over your head extend and open out your elbows as you raise the weight upwards Next, fold your elbows slowly and lower the dumbbell. Your upper arms should remain firm and perpendicular to the floor. Maintain your shoulder blades position down to the back as you do the reps. Upper body shoulder press. This can be done sitting or standing. Hold a dumbbell one in each hand. Raise both hands until they are on the same level as your ears. Ensure both elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle at the start position. Propel the weights upwards until your arms are fully extended. Slowly bring down to the start position. Upper body chest press. Lie facing upward, keep your knees bent and keep your feet fully on the floor. Grip a dumbbell in each hand at the level of your chest. Raise the dumbbells up over your chest till your elbows are straightened out but not tightly locked. Hold for a second, then slowly lower your hands with the weights towards your chest. Upper body seated row. Sit on the ground with your feet placed together, keep your knees bent. Hold the end of a resistance band or a dumbbell in your hand. Keeping your arms straight out ahead of you, your palms must face inward. Keep your back straight, bend your elbows and then pull the bands or dumbbells towards yourself at the sides. Keep the elbows touching your body and extend your arms out slowly. Core classic crunch. Lie on the mat facing upwards, place your feet on the floor flat, bend your knees. Lace your hands supporting your head from behind. Pull in your shoulder blades and keep your elbows back. the elbows should point sideways and stay in that position pull your abs in tight and bend your shoulders along with the upper part of your back use your core muscles to pull them off the floor lower down slowly keeping your lower back always pressed to the floor take care that you don't use momentum when you do the reps core plank lie facing down with your elbows exactly under your shoulders palms down and your toes tucked under from this start position slowly tighten your glutes abs and back muscles lift your body and thighs off the floor do this till your forearms on top and toes below are supporting your whole body like a plank hold this equilibrium for about 5 seconds keeping your back straight slowly return to the starting stance lower body squat stand keeping your feet shoulder width apart now bend your knees and as though you were sitting in a chair lower yourself down ensure you keep your thighs on a parallel line 
with the floor and keep your bent knees within the level of your toes. After a pause, stand up, leaning a bit forward. You may also use a stability ball if it suits you. Keep it behind your back against a wall. Lower body lunges. Stand, keeping your feet as wide apart as your shoulders are. Take your right leg one step back. Bend the knee towards the floor, making sure you don't allow it to make contact with the ground. Your left thigh should be almost in parallel line with the floor. Next, press down on your left heel and bring your right leg back to the neutral stance. Do 8 to 12 reps. After this, change sides, this time stepping back with your left leg. Try making these lunges even more fun and difficult to push your limits. Hold some weight like a dumbbell in each hand and repeat. Lower body hamstring curl. Stand holding on to a chair back. Stretch out your left foot and bend your knee back and bring it up. Do this till your heel touches or almost touches your hips. You may keep the other leg a bit bent. Now bring your left foot to the ground again. 8 to 12 reps later, repeat the process with the right leg. You can make this exercise more challenging by wearing ankle weights, but check with your doctor first. Bottom line, taking care of your health must be of utmost importance. Make sure that you are comfortable in the workout you do. Constantly monitor yourself and consult a doctor whenever needed. Happy exercising!